The process of setting up an online course website goes something a little like this. So first you install WordPress, that's your main platform. Then you install LearnDash or Tutor LMS, and this is your learning management system. And then finally, you find a video hosting platform like Vimeo. And then you just put your videos on your website and pretty much your course is ready. Now, this experience, although it works, it's not really, really good because the experience that your students get is not really, really good. Let me explain what I mean by that. So when we set up our website, ideally, you want a situation where when your student goes on your course website, they go into a course, they start playing a video, and for some reason, let's say they're done for the day and they need to leave, they need to be able to get back onto that video and start off where they left off. Similar to what you get with Netflix when you watch a movie and then you decide, you know what, I'm gonna go to bed or you have to do something else and then you continue from where you left off. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to apply this onto your online course website. And this is going to change the experience that your students are going to get as they watch your videos. And also one other feature that I forgot to mention, you can add markers on your video where your students can just go straight to that point and get whatever information they need from that video. So all of that I'm going to go through in this video. But before I get started, I'd like to remind you that the tools I'm going to use are all going to be in the video description below and they all come with bonuses. If you buy Presto Player, which is the video player that we're going to be using, I also have a bonus, which are two courses that you get when you purchase that and also Learn Dash if you, if you want to use Learn Dash. I also give away my course if you use my affiliate link in the video description below. Let's dive in and let me show you how to set all this up. All right, so over here I am in Vimeo. This is where I host my videos, by the way. So this is actually a course that I've put together. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to just copy the link of one of these videos. So I'm just gonna click here on copy link, copy video link. Okay, so here we are in my WordPress admin dashboard. So ahead of time, I've gone ahead and installed a few plugins. So over here on my plugins, you need to make sure you have Learn Dash installed because that's the plugin that I'm using. And for my learning management system, I also installed Presto Player and Presto Player Pro. Try and say that a few times. <laughs> okay, so Presto Player Pro. All the links to that are in the video description below. So once you've installed these two, the next step now is to go to your courses. So I'm gonna come over here to Learn Dash, click on courses. Now I created a demo course called My New Course. If I click here on edit, I've uh, gone ahead and added two lessons in here. Okay, so to take a look at the lessons, we need to come over here to the builder. So before I do that, let me just hit update. And then I'm gonna come over here to the builder. So you can see here I have lesson one and lesson two. So let's go into lesson one and edit it. So here we are on lesson one. So what I'm going to do now is to add my video that I copied from Vimeo. So I'm just gonna hit enter here, click on this plus button. So once you install Presto Player, it also is added as a block. So I'm just gonna search for Presto and here it is. So I am looking for Vimeo. So Presto Vimeo video. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm gonna paste the URL in here, click on add video. Okay, so that's my video here. So what I can do here with this video is I can also add an image here. Um, so I can click here on select and choose my image overlay. So let's say I wanna go with this one here or maybe the dark one, hit select. So now you can see I have a uh, video overlay, which is pretty cool. Now that I have this all set, so let's start talking about the chapters, adding the chapters on our videos. So the first thing you wanna do is to come back over here and add our first marker. So this is going to be our welcome part. So all you have to do now moving forward is, you ju is to just click on this plus button to add your chapters. So let's say at the four minute mark, this is where we install Divi. Okay, moving on, let's say, at the four minute 30, this is where we install Learn Dash. Okay, so pretty much these are my uh, chapter markers. So right now we can't see them because I think of the uh, image overlay, but uh, they are there. In fact, you know what? Let's just uh, remove this image here and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna hit update. 
All right, so if at any point you want to remove any of these markers, all you have to do is to click here on this minus and this will remove the marker. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, add our image background here back like that. Okay, so let's hit update. And what we're going to do now is to see if these chapters are now showing. So I'm going to open this in a new tab and you can see here the chapters are now showing. So here you can see we have install Divi, install learn dash. So if your student wants to go to any of these uh, points, they can just click here and it takes them directly to that particular point. But you need to, of course, add them in here initially. So what I'm going to do next now is to show you the feature that I mainly uh, introduce you to in this video, which is when a student plays a video and they leave it off at a certain point uh, throughout the video, when they come back, it continues from that point. So to do that, it's very easy. So all you have to do is to make sure you're on the video itself. You click on it because this is how you get all these features. If you click away, you will not get all the video features. So you need to make sure that you're clicking here. And then you want to choose this option here, which says course. Okay. So when you select this course, preset this is what has that feature that i'm talking about so what we're going to do now let's click on update and we are going to test this and see if this is working okay so we're going to view this lesson in a new tab so here we go so let's say i Look play like, this so you're going to have all your videos in here YouTube. okay okay so you can see here it's a two minute uh 10 seconds there we go so when i refresh this page and let's say I need to continue with uh, lesson one. So let's refresh this one more time. Okay, so let's say I need to continue with this video. So I can click here and let's see where it begins. So you can see here on my timeline, it continues from where it left. So as you can see, this feature actually works. I often compare this with say Netflix or even uh, the Amazon player. I think this adds an extra layer that makes it easy for your students to learn on your website. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the video description below. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to respond to it. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.